From Uganda, let's shift gears to Rwanda. Well, Rwanda authorities have launched a campaign to clear street vendors from the capital city of Kigali by encouraging them to form registered cooperatives or find formal work as they try to raise taxes and make the city even tidier. And as Joy Dorin Biro reports, <coughs> little, or, <coughs> I beg your pardon, little or no knowledge of financial literacy could make it difficult to execute the new plan. Boasting of one of the cleanest urban centers in Africa, authorities in Rwanda's capital want thousands of street hawkers to form registered cooperatives or find formal work as they try to raise taxes and rid the city of street vendors. The city, Kigali, has a reputation for order that is rare on a continent of sprawling and sometimes chaotic metropoles, and lately city authorities have stepped up measures against hawkers on the street, which some activists say is draconian. Onion. Kigali Mayor Monique Mukaruliza said last week that street vendors are an impediment to cleanliness. In some of the city's busiest areas, city council officers have been chasing vendors and seizing their merchandise as part of the cleanup exercise with a population of about 1.1 million Kigali provides trade for street vendors who sell cheap and affordable goods but don't all enjoy a legal status. <laughs> If I can no longer make a living doing this job, then it will be the end of my family. I left the village because there was nothing to do, and I'm not going to become a thief so that I can earn a living. I don't know how to do anything else. I didn't go to school. What else can I do? I can't tell you what will happen if they stop us to continue. Authorities say that the exercise will encourage hawkers to set up cooperatives and register businesses, both of which would pay taxes. Plastic bags may litter many African cities, but they are banned in Rwanda, so the capital and its lush green surrounds are free from ragged bits of plastic fluttering on fences or clogging drains. Nevertheless, thousands of hawkers, undeterred by what they say is police harassment, still offer juices and fruit or sell cheap sunglasses and trinkets, trying to make a living in a nation where per capita income is just 730 US dollars a year. We cannot compete with people who have stalls at the market because we do not have money to buy stalls at the market. What we are asking the authorities is to support us, to put us in one place and we can even pay taxes. We don't mind doing that because when they come and take our products away and beat us, then we don't make a living and we suffer. If I'm arrested today then taken away, then I cannot earn a living. Kigali's mayor said the plan was making progress, but noted that the authorities wish the process could be much quicker. Nairobi and Kampala cities have tried to read the streets of vendors and hawkers through creation of night markets with little success. Joy Dorin Bira, KTN News.